The new look of the St. Petersburg Pier is now a little more in focus. A jury made up of city officials and architects came up with a consensus on which design to go ahead with. Eric Waxler is live at City Hall now with the uh, pick. Eric? Yeah, Dan, here at City Hall, we just found out a short while ago the favorite design is called the lens. It's much different than the old inverted pyramid that, for better or worse, has been a landmark in St. Petersburg since 1973. The officials, two architects, and a Harvard professor ranked the three finalists for St. Petersburg's new pier design, and the lens won out. The design by Los Angeles-based Michael Maltzen Architecture features a loop that goes over the water with twin bridge paths and a view of an underwater reef. Compared to the other two, I think the lens is the best balance of affordability um, of an attractor for local residents um, and the lowest subsidy. Talk of a new pier started in 2007. In recent months, residents were invited to weigh in, and jury members say the majority endorsed the lens. People were quite, the ones who liked it were quite enthusiastic about it, I guess I would say. The wave also received positive reviews from the panel and was the second pick. It has more commercial space and more opportunities to generate revenue. The lens is more about the view. It, it does very much, I think, play into the historical concept of the city, which is the waterfront as a park, recreation, place for people to go. The design known as the eye was panned and eliminated from consideration. Mayor Bill Foster says he supports whatever design is picked and continuing the city's tradition of having a landmark on that spot is what it's all about. People love that access to the water and uh, this will be that iconic brand of the city of St. Petersburg truly for the next 50 years. And the current pier is in rough shape and very costly to maintain and it will eventually come down and be replaced by a new design, maybe the lens, that uh, will have a budget of about $45 million. The city council will talk further about the lens on Thursday and then possibly vote to approve it at the next city council meeting, which is February 2nd. Live in downtown St. Petersburg, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Thank you, Eric.